hi guys in this video we will learn how to add toaster notification in laravel application so let's get started with the example so i already downloaded laravel fresh and install laravel ui with the bootstrap auth scaffold so you can see that i already downloaded laravel application and you can see that i already registered with the one user so if i go here you can see that in the in the resource there is a layouts file okay so let's get and implement so let me go here and first of all we will use the jquery cdn so simply add it okay and simply paste it here from the website and same thing we are using the toaster so we need to use the toaster js and toaster css so let me just copy the cdn you can later you can download and store in your local folder as well so let me simply download css so now if i go here okay and let me start the script okay and here i will do toaster dot success and i will show this is demo okay and simply save it and let's see toaster is working or not in our application okay simply refresh it you can see that this is demo so toaster is working now what i will do i will simply add a few buttons over here like success info warning and error okay so now if i go here and let me add the button so let me go to the home page okay and here simply i will just remove this one and i will add edit okay here i will add i will call success and i will add button ptn ptn success okay simply save it again if i go and refresh it you can see that there is a success okay now what i will do when i click on it that should be a notification come here so i will create one route and do that okay so let me go and first of all let me comment it out this one okay and let me create one route over here okay before that i will create a controller okay so let me clear it php artisan mac so this is for a demo so i will say mac controller and i will say notification controller okay simply hit enter okay now it's created a one controller okay now here i will say get and i will say notification and i will say, i will pass the type like success and all okay so let me go here and now let me notification controller colon colon plus and i will simply define the index method for it and i will give the name so i will say notification simply okay give the route name simply save it okay and let me use it over here so let me say app http and i will say controllers and then notification control okay now let me go to the notifications controller okay let me go here and here i will define the index method so simply comment it out and i will define the index method i will i already passed the argument as a type so we are passing the type success info and warning okay so i will use simply switch case and i will use type okay and here will be if there is a success then what i will do i will simply return back with success okay and i will just temporarily pass one message user created successfully okay simply save it okay and now if i go here into our blade template you can see the layout inside the blade template i will add here condition like session if there is a success session and if and session what it will call toaster success function and inside that we will add the value okay so i will say like value and simply add the title also success simply save it okay now if i go and if i hit refresh okay let me run again the application so php artisan serve okay and if refresh okay and if i click on success okay what happened it's not working now let me go what happened so simply refresh it again okay i think we forgot here if i go to the blad we doesn't doesn't define any route over here so we need to define the route 
so route we already created notifications and we pass as a type success okay so that's it okay now let me refresh it over here okay and if i click on it you can see that user created successfully you can see that so simply you can define in the layout okay and then you can run like you can with the success session everywhere and it will work okay same thing let me go here and add another button call info so let me simply info and i will see the button name will be the info if and pass will be the info okay same thing if i go to the notification here simply add one more switch catch for it okay simply sometime you need to just pass the info so i will say like user updated or something okay Sim simple message okay here also that will be the info okay so sometime we just need to update the information and you need to pass this message so now let me go here and simply i will just copy and here i will say info and toaster has a info function value and here i will say info simply save it okay and if i go here and refresh you can see that if i click on it user updated and there is an info and with the icon okay same thing let me add another button over there okay and that's called warning so i will simply add warning and warning so same thing i go to the controller and now let me add another case for it okay so i will say warning and warning and i will say like user cannot allow just a simply message i am going to add and if i go here simply i will copy and paste again for for the warning so i will say warning same thing warning and yeah i will add over here as well warning simply save it and now if i go here and refresh and if i click on it you can see that you user cannot allow okay same thing i will add another button there and there will be an error okay so let me go here and i will say error so pass the error and here will be the red button so i will say danger okay simply add into the controller let me add another case for it and i will say if there is a error and i will say error and there will be a say like uh, i will say this is testing error okay simply save it and now let me go here and simply copy and paste here and add if there is a session error then toaster has a error function and here i will say error okay simply save it okay now if i go and refresh it okay and if i click on an error you can see that there is error trigger so that means you have a toaster like you have a, a flash message when user created then should be like user is created successfully when user will update then you can pass as a session like user updated and same thing in your every module like post module and other categories module so you don't have to define this every time you just need to define in your the theme file like layout file and one time and then you can use the reuse okay so i hope guys this video will help you so if you, you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe thank you so much for watching